the watermelons. Oh, it's crazy. The texture of this corner is pretty nice. Wait, what happened to the wall? The, the watermelon, what the fuck? Why is there like a coffee stain on the wall? What, what the fuck happened to my USB? So this was made by a guy named Isa from Nazareth. PC optimizer since a young end. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to go into the link of the description of this video and you wanna, you're going to go to this page. So there's low quality with tweaks, low quality without tweaks, ultra low quality file. So I'm going to download this one. So what you want to do, you want to go into the, your files and you want to go into the location of where your Steam is installed. So since mine is in the E volume, I'm going to go to Steam and I'm going to go to user data. It's the last folder uh, down here, so the last one. When you're here, there's four files. This one is meaningless and these three are the accounts you signed on. I think on for you, there might be one, there might be three, but if there is multiple, to tell which one has the CS2 config files, you got to go here, 730 local. CFG and then you will have all the CS2 config files basically here and so when I'm back here I know this one doesn't have it because I go to 730 local there's only there's only this stuff there's no CS2 files that's basically how to tell which one is your CS2 account so you want to go into the one the account that you play CSGO on and you want to go to 730 these are just steam IDs by the way you want to go to 730 and then you want to click local and then you want to click config and then this is your CS2 config so basically this is the video settings and so what you want to do you want to get this folder right you want to get this folder so yeah this is the folder you just downloaded from the google drive thing um i'm pretty sure it's a dot zip so you have to open it with either rinra or 7zip they're both free you can download them by a simple google search now you get the cs2 video.txt and you drag it into here now you open the cs2 video.txt file when it is in this folder okay so when you're here you want to put full screen at one because that is that's going to make your game stretch that's going to make your game you know full uh, full screen you don't want your game to be windowed and see like the microsoft exit button and stuff like that it's pretty scuffed and this is the the res so let's say i'm going to do my res 1280 by 960 and then you click save so sometimes when you launch up with the config, it may reset back to native or windowed mode. So what you want to do is you want to just go back into the file and you just do your settings again. So 12A960 full screen again, if it reverts back to native or windowed and you always just want to click save. And then yeah, by the way, you do not want to change your video settings, your graphic settings uh, through here. You always want to do that through the notepad thing because if you do it here it just resets and you have to do it all over again so surprisingly you can use this on multiplayer such as competitive and stuff oh. like uh it's pretty amazing yeah but if i go here let's say i want to do the perfect ct smoke where it covers boost i can't really do it because i can't line it up because this thing is just fucking mush. It's it's literal mush. Like I can't what I can't even 